Hi there, welcome to DFFML videos. In this video, we will be seeing how to perform multi-output tasks in the DFFML API. DFFML makes it so that users can use multi-output models in the same way as they use any other model and without a lot of hassle. For the sake of this example, uh, we will be using multi-output datasets from scikit-learn framework. Let's import all uh, the required frameworks. We load the multi-output regression data into the X and Y variables here, and then we concatenate them together uh, using the NumPy library. Uh, NumPy library's concatenate method. And as we can see, that they seem to be in the right shape. The FFML allows you to pass your data set in the form of dictionaries. So here, uh, we convert our data into the dictionary by providing a key and a value for each of the features and target features. After the data set is ready, we initialize the model using that data set and of course all the features and the predict features or the target labels. Uh, here we use uh, the psychic bridge model uh, by this entry point and uh, now our model is initialized and ready to be trained. And then we train the model uh, in the same way as we would train any other machine learning model. By using the high level uh, train function, we pass in our model and the data. Um, and then we test the data in the same way. Um, however, uh, there is one thing to note that uh, only the scikit-learn models are supported by the multi-output tasks. Uh, with a few exceptions. So you should go to the site to learn model plugin documentation and um, choose the right model for you. Here are all the models and their plugins and it, as you can see that uh, it shows which ones are supported in this column. And same goes for the scorers as well. Uh, you can choose the right scorers for you. Um, there are a few scores that are not uh, supported for multi-output and they are also listed here. So, other than that, um, you train the model and uh, you find the score of the model, you test the model. In this case, we get a 158 uh, mean squared error for the model. And then we uh, perform our predictions in exactly the same way. And as you can see, um, it's giving us multi output predictions for our model because there are um, three target variables here, y1, y2, and y3. And that was it for our multi-output models. Um, we won't go over the multi-output classifiers because um, they work in the same way, obviously. Uh, you get the idea by now. Um, but in case uh, you feel like you have to go through it, you can check out the notebook. Um, it has the complete example for the classifiers as well. Um, and if you have any confusions regarding the whole tutorial, uh, feel free to open GitHub issues or you can even reach us out in, on the Gitter community channel. Thank you.